so we're continuing our discussion of using the dialog as an alternate editing view for the current row in the grid and uh, this is where we map the controls from the current row in the grid to the dialog so the customer ID field in the uh, grid will map to the customer ID field in the dialog and then I can just uh, click auto map and that just um, maps all fields that have the same name so um, we've now mapped the controls in the current grid row uh, to the uh, dialog and um, then the only uh, other option that we need to choose here is whether we would like to um, close the dialog when we click the update button that's on by default and whether we want to actually submit the grid uh, when the dialog is uh, updated so we'll leave that off by default right now so we'll go ahead now and uh, check out our new button so we'll go there and make some edit uh, click our button and you can see up comes the dialog showing our edit and then when we press the update button so let's go make that uh, king so we press the update button we'll just move this over we can see that that gets changed to king but the record hasn't yet been committed I have to commit it from within the grid components and there I can go ahead now and commit but if I would prefer to make that into a one-step uh, action I can go back to the builder and now I can check this uh, option over here which says submit the parent component and now when I go back to um, working preview let's go now and uh, bring up uh, let, well let's first make it dirty so we'll go here and type in say Fred so now this row is currently dirty open up the uh, dialog uh, type in John and now press the update button over here so you can see John gets written back and then the dialog itself got uh, committed so uh, what we've shown here is how we can duplicate the functionality that we saw in the desktop Microsoft Access uh, application by using a dialog as an alternate view for editing the current row in in a grid what I'd like to do now is just spend a few minutes contrasting um, one of the actions uh, in uh, action JavaScript that uh, you might confuse with this action over here so I'm going to just um, bring up um, the uh, action JavaScript uh, builder and you can see here that the action that we've been discussing here is called open the dialog as an alternate editing view for the current record there's also an action here called open a dialog component to edit the current record uh, in the grid or add a new record so on the surface both um, actions sound uh, confusingly similar but in fact they're quite different um, in this action that we've been discussing today the dialog is not uh, bound to any tables so the dialog is just an alternate view of the row that you're editing in in the grid and um, uh, when you submit the dialog the data gets written back to the grid and it's the grid that is responsible for writing the data to the table this action here can be used on a grid that is not editable and when you click the button to open up the dialog the uh, current row is displayed in the dialog and then when you click the submit button in the dialog the, di the data is written back to the database so in this case the dialog component uh, must be bound to tables um, and uh, the dialog is responsible for saving the data and then when the dialog closes it just does a refresh on the current row in the grid so that the grid reflects uh, the changes that you made but the important distinction is that in this case it's the dialog that is doing the update whereas in this case it's the grid that's actually doing the update so uh, both um, actions here serve really different purposes and both of them are useful in the toolkit of available uh, tools that you have in your applications thanks very much